I'm going to be living nocturnally for the next 50 hours. Studies have shown that living nocturnally can reduce your stress, increase productivity and increase your IQ. Also increase the chance of cancer, but rough with a smooth, do you know what I mean? Today I'm going to put that to the test, not the cancer pit, hopefully, but I am going to test my IQ to begin with and then see how that changes over the course of the 50 hours. Test results, come on, what's my IQ? 125 or more. I answered 10 of the 10 questions correctly. 100%. Can you get higher than that? No, I can't. So I'm in superior or very superior. Not bad. So I guess we have to see whether over the next 50 hours that IQ is going to go down or not. Can't go any higher. <laughs> Okay, since it's now just coming to 8 o'clock, this is technically my early morning, but since I've already done my early morning routine, I'm going to go out now. This is the start of me living nocturnally. Let's go to the cinema. And now for a comprehensive film review. I thought the Elvis film was decent, worth the watch. Stick that on the poster. Still got another nine hours to go before I can get any sleep. When I got back home, I started to feel a bit groggy. Nobody likes feeling groggy, so I decided to have a wash to liven me up a bit. Look at him go. Lovely technique, look at that. Right into all the grooves. Pat yourself down. Job done. I then decided to sit in my chair and start working, and before I knew it, I was typing away into the evening. It was now 2am and I'd made it into the early hours of the morning, but I needed to get some food. So I decided to order something from Uber Eats. I went outside to collect the order in pyjama shorts, and it was all just hanging out. There was no pants underneath that. None. Got my McDonald's order, and I was left very disappointed. Don't get me wrong, they gave me the Tropicana, the orange juice. Beautiful, exactly what you want at 3 o'clock in the morning. Fantastic. I then also got this big flavour wrap, which is absolutely rubbish. But my cucumber sticks were nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Who's stolen my cucumber sticks? Was was the delivery driver drunk, perhaps? Is that why he didn't pass them over to me? Were they non-existent in the first place? I want my 79 pence back. I did get it back, to be fair. I actually got 93 pence. Made a nice little profit off that. Now I'd finished my lunch at half three in the morning, it was time for a little rest. And to be fair, that's what my whole night was, just sort of lounging about. I could not be bothered to do anything once I'd eaten. Next minute I knew it was eight o'clock in the morning. We made it. Despite it being eight o'clock in the morning, it was now time to have my dinner before I headed off to bed. Having leftover pasta as my main meal of the day was a, was a strange sensation at eight o'clock in the morning. It really was. Never had pasta that early before. Now it was time to head to bed though. I would see if I could get any sleep. I desperately needed it. It's half 12, still not asleep. I should be asleep, just not tired. And I'm really, really warm. So I've resorted to eating Ben and Jerry's to try and cool me down. That's just an excuse to be honest. Oh, that's cooled me down. The time is half three. I've spent the last couple of hours trying to get to sleep, but my body just doesn't want to. Just doesn't want to. It's awake. I've just had a shower, got ready for the day. It's now 4 pm. A little bit earlier than expected. I was going to get up at 7 originally. Body and my head, my brain's just everywhere. It's very, very weird. So it's half four in the afternoon, which means it's time to have breakfast. Most important meal of the day. Come join me. Trying not to get too jealous. Right, breakfast done, it's quarter five. Still got a little while until lunch. I've ordered something from an app called Too Good To Go. Basically, it's when shops have a surplus of food that they don't sell during the day, but then sell it off really cheaply. So I'm gonna get a burrito about nine or 10 o'clock tonight. That's gonna be my next meal for lunch. It's about five hours time. Until then, I've got some stuff to do. Oh, lovely action. Just around the tap there. Get our sparkle back. Finally, it's 22 minutes past seven, which means we are now at the time which I was originally supposed to get up at. The sun is starting to set. I'm gonna do some work, and then I'm gonna go get some lunch. First up, work. Okay, so now 20 past nine, I've gotta go pick up lunch. So, let's go. Just got myself a burrito. First ever burrito, three quid. It's supposed to be about £8.50. Okay, finally back. It's 10 o'clock. I'm about to have lunch <laughs> at 10pm. This is what I got from Tesco's. Yeah, Bell Eaters. And a cucumber. Didn't get my cucumber last night, so I'm going to have it tonight instead. And this, of course, is the Big Daddy Burrito. Right, folks. The fact that that's going to be in my belly in a minute is a bit worrying. Are you supposed to just... I feel like I want to get a knife and fork out. <laughs> and we'll stop right there. Let's be honest, nobody wants to watch me eat. This is quality. Quality. I asked for a mild sauce, but there's a bit of a kick to this. Oof. Well, there's some movement there at the arse end. I mean, 
quite a slappable arse. Didn't expect to be slapping the arse of a burrito at 10 o'clock at night, but there you go. This is beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh no. Get your shirt tucked in, come on. This burrito is beyond repair. It calls for a knife and fork. I apologise. Burrito finished, it's now half ten. Time for a Belvita to finish off. Disappointing size. That's what she said! <laughs> After a quick lunch break, I then went back to working again. I don't know why I didn't just say 4am. I'm not Anne Frank. What's, what's that all about? It's half five. I'm whispering like I'm Bear Grylls approaching a lion. We're very, very close to being able to go to sleep. I'm so tired. Once I'd finished stated the obvious, it was time for some sleep. Okay, the time is now 1pm. <laughs> it's been a while since my last update, but it is 1pm. As you might have guessed, I've been to sleep. I went to sleep about 7am, I think. Didn't have any dinner, so it's been 15 hours since I last ate. Still can't manage to crack sleeping through the afternoon. It's just too difficult. So I guess it's time to cook yesterday's dinner. Look at that. Two gourmet burgers, some vegetables, and a pack of the crisps. I don't really know what the crisps are doing there, but... Live a little. Jesus. It's half one. Wish I was topless, to be honest, but I'll save you having to look at that for any longer. I rarely eat anything with a knife and fork, including crisps. Okay, it's seven o'clock, which means I've got two hours left of this 50-hour challenge. I've just had my dinner, had beans on toast, nothing super, super fancy. You know what beans on toast looks like. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to show you it. <laughs> Still feeling a little bit sort of out of it, sort of out of sync. Going to bed at 6 a.m. in the morning, it's not ideal. Like, it's really not ideal. <laughs> it's one of those things that people on nights do I mean, every day, don't they? So like, this is something that's done by quite a few people, I think. But an interesting experiment. I'm, I'm curious to see how it affects my IQ. Still got a slight headache. That might just be from listening to the sound of my own voice. Eight o'clock, one hour to go. We're very close now to the end of the challenge. I'll tell you what though, considering I've had about five hours sleep, I don't feel too bad. To be honest, I don't feel that bad. I then decided to have a beautiful time lapse, like a, a young Casey Neistat would probably do. I'm not even sure the sunset's that impressive, to be honest. It's quite cloudy. <laughs> Finish this drink, I'll head back. It's nine o'clock, that's 50 hours of living nocturnally done. But first, we've got to see what's happened to my IQ. Has it stayed the same? Has it gone up? Has it gone down? Let's find out. In terms of feeling less stressed, more productive, more productive, yes, I think. In the night, you're able to get more done, no other distractions. But let's see what happens to the IQ now. So I got 25 out of 30, which isn't terrible. It means that already that's less than 100%. I got 100% last time, albeit on a different test. My IQ is in the superior range. Not again. Oh, God. Of 121 to 100. It seems as if my IQ drops slightly as a result of <laughs> living nocturnally. Who'd have thought it? Sleep deprivation does that. So what have you learned? I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs>